dark as shit. Plug this in, who's dead as shit. Alright, so today is Fairless. So let's go do Fairless. Let's fly with this guy down here. Be careful. Let's go to Fairless. This won't be a fair to kill. I think I should put this on the PC. Eh, yeah, whatever. Weird purple trank. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. That is definitely a weird taste. Okay, I got. I got nothing on what to call it. It's a weird, sludgy, purple taste. <laughs> that tastes purple? We'll call it the Lulu. Officially calling it the Lulu. Run away, run away, run, run away. Take a picture of it and post it on Facebook. This is the Lulu. All the liquor in the house. It's a long way to the top if you want to crop and roll. Fall off the road. Shit. Get back on the road. I don't know what kind of crazy shit happens if I stay off the road. Skisha. How many chapters is this? Five chapters. The Fate of Terror. The Twilight Sermon. Freed! Forces of Nature and the Dragon's Nightmare. That will take place over 45 quests. So presumably about every nine quests we'll get a chapter completion. Dun, dun, dun. The dreamer's rest. Hey, bigger. I am listening. 
Welcome to Fairless. I thank you for coming to assist us. A severe illness has fallen over the creatures of the forest. While at first I had hoped it was part of nature's course, it has refused the past. The forest stags, normally strong and serene, have suffered the worst. Some waste away in weakness, others froth and rage dangerously. If I am to consult the spirits to learn more of their sickness, I will need the stag's antlers. Where is Aaron Willowborn? I am listening. Uh, da, da. My duty here is to watch over Teleron. Even without his meditation leaving him vulnerable, there's enough threats in this forest to keep both of us on our toes. That's why it maddens me so much that I don't have the opportunity to leave camp. More harpies than I've ever seen infest the northwest. Foul creatures spreading their filth across the ancient ruins uncaringly. They're a threat to this camp and have no place in these lands. I'll pay you well if you get rid of them. Adana Hate Talon is the queen of the North Spring Harpies that reside in the ruins to the west. It is her malicious will that leads the harpies to defend their nests among the ruins of our people. The harpies can call to her with a horn they carry. Blowing it by the Hate Talon stones in the northern part of the ruins will summon Edna. Show no mercy for these foul creatures. Slay her and bring her dark heart to me. Be careful. Oh, amen. What brings you here? Alright, off to the northeast to kill some harpies. Let's fuck them harpies. Harpies can suck out the dick. Flowing through your mouth. Tastes pretty good. But I don't know. Afterwards it doesn't. It's like really definitely not a good aftertaste. I don't know though. Go kill the boss. Mm. Kill the boss. Kill the pop pop boss. You better run away from me, hooker. Edna. Now I feel 
feel bad. Okay. Well, if I feel you want to be going down. upside your head. I'll make you dead with my axe upside your head. So I'm oh, alright, the wind color. Alright, back to deer hunting. Tick. But no antlers. Infected you, Johnny. You got ticks. I want antlers. business here and yet here you are killing deer which is why I'm here and 
Yo, take him and kill him. You bastard. Level. Don't mind the fact that I just watched him use Breath of Cinder Rosa. Uh. No, we're done with the deers anyway. Uh, it's a two hander. So a minor upgrade to the tranquilizer, it looks like. Thank you, warrior. That's one less distraction. Uh, we must not tolerate the infestation of our ancestors' ruins by the harpies. These lands will finally be free to the foulness of the harpies. I cannot thank you enough. Reach level 37. Ooh. How may I help? This is a sad task, but necessary. At the very least, these creatures' suffering has ended. Let us hope their sacrifice will stop the further pain. I've discovered a brood of dragon whelps gathered off the road to the north with a similar affliction. Green dragons are sacred custodians of nature. The fact that this disease is capable of spreading to them is cause for a great alarm. We must stop this from spreading further through any means. Slay the infected whelps and return to me. Dude, I dick move. Brutally dick moves, bruh. Wait. <laughs> Just floating across the water like a fucking priest. You're the priest in the wind. Fuck. <laughs> Right there, Need to kill more dragons. Kill them with my sword and my axe. And my execute. And my blood thirst. And my fear and my charge and I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore <laughs> cause I feel like a stupid boy Well played. Ah! The Welp is dead. 
Now to walk back to the thingy. Do 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 do. -do. When not in combat, when not dotted, when not near a mob, when not thinking about being near a mob, when not near nothing. Hey, buddy. Hello. This development worries me greatly. This has happened before. This is truly grave. We must find the true cause of this illness for the sake of the land. As you witnessed, your sincerity is moving, Druid. A green dragon, immortal guys. I never thought I would receive the honor of. I deserve no such respect or reverence, Druid. I have betrayed my own kind. The illness of this land is my fault. Sickness is born of the nightmare within the Emerald Dream, and the dragon Terrar spreads it. He is but a crazed shade of his former self. But we'll see this land devoured. I cannot face it myself. To even approach him would risk letting the same corruption overtake me once more. What must we do? The earth itself weeps in its suffering. Gather its tears and use these to seal the portal at the great tree. The connection to the dream must be cut. Be brave, hero! As you witnessed, the dragon Yusandre has told us the tears of the land can seal the portal from which this corruption spreads. Her words ring true. In the glade to the west, I have seen the mountain giants distraught. They raged in frustration and wept, and their tears fell upon the stones as shining crystals. Though the giants weep no more, these stone tears must be what Yusandre referred, referred to. You must gather them. The cliff giants of Fairless are extensions of the earth itself. When the nature thrives, they are benevolent protectors and peaceful guardians. But as the forest is tainted, so too are they. Should they be corrupted by this malady, we, they will lash out in violence against the trees, wildlife, and the very boulders they were shaped from. Be wary in your tasks. Should you find any corrupted giants, destroy them for the sake of those who still spared. So, yeah. giants and stone tears should be fun. Dum-dum-dum-dum-dum. Fa. Far to the west. Far, far to the west. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it looks like. It could be that massive. It'd be ridiculous, but it could be. Uh, that's a flower. That's clearly a pissed off giant. Clearly another pissed off giant. I'm be fighting that giant with his tear. Come at me, bro. Come here. Come at me. Oh, 
nothing before me. For I am mighty. Save the uncorrupted giant. Oh. Get this I saved you, my friend. Pass it along. Go save your other brethren. Cool. So if they made it to where the whistle like affected all zones, like you could buy it and be like the heirloom whistle, like the heirloom whistle, make it a lore master thing. Yeah, that'd be cool as shit. Be like once you've completed all the quests in a zone, unlocks that zone's whistle. The whistle. That zone's whistle. Celestial unit. Greetings. Hello. The tiers are among the very rocks that the giants themselves rise from. There should be loose ones near the base of the large monoliths. The mountain giants are precious allies of our race, and we must stop this corruption before it claims any more creatures of the forest. The spirits of these guardians will return in time. There, you freed them in. You've freed them to move on in nature's cycle. Now it falls to us to make sure the cycle is free of corruption and needless suffering. It is ready. Take this. A beacon of natural essence, blessed by the will of Isandre. To the north, on the other side of the flowing brook, is Dreambow. There stands the great tree, the tallest and fairest, the sapling of the very world tree. A portal in the heart of the Emerald Dream sits in its trunk, and it is a portal you must seal. The portal will be guarded, and you must be brave. I'm scared. I ain't scared. Oh. Clearly. Don't know if I can to pass these guys. Oh, quick dancer is not. She didn't go spawn. He has bestowed me with more power to stop him. I'll move 
super slow. Whoa. I wonder what's coming through that portal. That would be messed up, wouldn't it? Like if you did the quest to seal it, you couldn't use it. Congratulations, you can use all of the other portals and all of the other druids can. But if you quest it in Feralis, nope. Oh boy. What's up, buddy? Can I assist you? Your bravery has seen us through. The Emerald Nightmare has been shut out from this land. The fate of the dragon Terror worries me. There is much work still to be done. I cannot afford to dwell on it. That's one. We druids do not keep very close company with the Sentinel Army, but we are always willing to work together to defend our land. Now that you have assisted me, I would be remiss if not in not requesting you assistance as well. Chandra's Feathermoon, General of the Sentinels, commands the war effort for all of Kalimdor from the newly built Feathermoon stronghold in the south. Tell her I sent you. I'm sure she will have need of your skills. Oh, that's a long walk. Could have gave me a free flight or something, you jerk. Ooh, I can feel it in my nose. Ooh. Ugh! It feels weird in my nose. It's been a minute since I drank it, and it still feels weird in my nose. Ha 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 ha. It's a long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll. Multitasking is not easy when you're trying to fall off cliff. I don't wanna fall off the cliffs, mommy. Goblin. Mm, interesting. Hey pal, I'm still working on a variant of a Noma shrinking ray using superior goblin technology. Advances in its construction in an effort to avoid inconveniences for myself such as death, I'd like you to try it out on some of the giants along the coast here. You should find miniaturization residue on them after you shrink them. Bring it back to me. One hander. If I bet against my own better judgment and stay to run an engineering shop along the Forgotten Coast, I will need to deal with these pesky elementals. Curse the power of elementalists, elementalism unchecked, I say. Fortunately for me, and now for my hopeful 
Agent Provocateur. The elements represent an ideal source of raw power for my Ultra Shrinker refinement. Give them the what for, I say. When doing this, though, be sure to save me the water elemental core. Moving on. For the moon stronghold. The very uh, stone building for night elves. The sand seems kind of weird. The loon be with you. Browse your goods for a moment. Hawk off all this stuff that guy just gave me. I do want to keep that. Goddess, watch over you. That might come in handy. My goods are of the highest. Hey, you. What brings you here? Ooh. This is a very stone settlement for night elves inside a very wooded area. Oh, there's a tree. There's a tree. Always at least one tree. Oh, Chandras. Uh, Teleron has already sent word of you. I'm interested in seeing if you're half as skilled as he claimed. I am fighting a war on multiple fronts while keeping our currently held areas properly defended, as well as overseeing the instruction of our youngest sentinels. If you're a decent fighter, there will be plenty for you to do. Our settlement on Sardor Island was lost to the Hate Crest Naga. Transparent spell sisters won't be long before you lead our own people with no further need. It's time for you to show me that leadership, Tom Brady. You will spearhead the offensive on Sardor Isle. Your ferocity will be needed there. Sylvia, I'll send you to the Tower of Estuan to drive out the Corduni Ogres. Your diplomacy and strategy will both be put to the test. Adele, you will strike out far to the east. Our forces have taken the eastern wild and observed the horde unseen. May your judgment be as keen as your marksmanship. I expect them to you. Do not fail me. Just be stupid. Uh, overwhelmed by their numbers, we fell back to the mainland while they covert coveted their newly gained sandbar. We raised New Feather Moon on the shore and amassed an even greater army. Now the Hate Crest will be driven back into the sea. Find our Ancient of War along the shore. He will take you to the front lines. There, Tom Bray leads the offensive. Not Woo. Woo. <gasps> Foul. I fell here by angle. Dishonorably discharged. Uh. All right, we're looking for Karnas. Holy crow, that is a pretty good army, dude. I got a lot of night elves. You Karnas? Sub Karnas. Ready to go to Serador Island. There, like legit. All right, cool. You used to, they have them riding on your back and not one of your hands. I don't see myself, and that concerns me that you're, you're holding me underwater. Probably suffocating me. Another moving guy. I don't want him to die. Because some ancient held me underwater till I stopped. <laughs> until the bubbles stopped. <laughs> some ancient held me underwater till the bubbles stopped, mommy. Wee splat. Um, the path appears to be under attack. But there's also people attacking the other attack. I'm just gonna ignore this battle going on. I talk to the warden lady. What? What up? These foul things will be driven back into the sea. I hope you're ready. Hate crests are fighting fiercely. Their leader is a priority, but we need to kill as many of them as we can. Go ahead of me. I'll meet you on the battlefield. Show them no mercy. General Skishash. Skishish. Skishish. The leader of these forces must 
fail, fall, yeah. The Naga offensive will be broken with no one to command them. I saw the command, the coward retreat into one of the abandoned buildings here. Cut your way through the owners, through the others, and take his head. Lady Chandras will want to see it for herself. So let's get our river on. Chink. Let's get our river on. Let's get, let's get, let's get our murder on. What the hell are you doing? Weird this. Does this taste purple? Hey, it's the general guy. What up, dude? Person. Don't waste my time. I must return to Father Moon. Oh, she gives me a flight. So the ancient dude is like, you know, suck it and hear my knowledge on the water. The bubbles stop. But she's perfectly okay with giving me a flight back. This room is the only room that seems to be well insulated. was mentioned in my briefings. I commend you. Has the general fallen? Good riddance to foul creatures. May the Naga slither back into the sea and never return. You've proven yourself on the battlefield. I would ask more assistance of you in defending our lands. A uh, highborn mage named Ustulan, estranged from his surviving brothers, has built a tower to the east where he trains young night elves in arcane magic. Were it not for Lady Tarande's recent mercy towards his kind, his execution would be my duty under the law. He will be watched closely, but I will not deny aid to my sentinel simply out of pride. I have sent Sylvia ahead to the Tower of Estelon to begin an offensive against the ogres infesting the nearby forest. Report to her for further orders. Good luck. Hop. Hop. Ah. Alright, we're 
gonna go deal with the giant problem now. It's like, I got them out there in the water. Shallows, noob. Oh, that's why there's another person out there. The elemental spreads so thin. here and I feel bad and you let your owners take credit for your shit Chop, 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 
Thank you. Now you can play with me on shore. Trick things and stop working on mountain giants, even though I wasn't the one running around zapping things. Those night elves beat the copper out of me after they found those guys shrunk. Splendifimus. Not only am I glad to see that you've returned for with the residues, but also with all the major appendages intact. That is, well, there was never any danger in using the Ultra Shrinker, now was there. I do appreciate your effort on my behalf. Truly, you are a friend of Goblins everywhere, except this is a token of my appreciation. Hurry back. Ah, uh, well, I could bore you with the technical details of the utility behind elemental cores. I will instead tempt you to completion of this important task by offering valuable coin and prizes for doing so. Yon, verily, are you finished. Scrum dilly -rific. These cores will keep me working for some time, and to, the, to that, the benefit of there now being fewer elementals along the coast. And I might no longer cry myself to sleep at the prospect of having to set up shop in perhaps the worst place imaginable. Thank you for your efforts on my behalf. While it certainly straps me financially to do this, allow me to show you some gratitude. You may understand and appreciate. Loot. Glad I could help. Loot. I almost missed the bridge because I wasn't paying attention. That would have been bad. Bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's down there. Let's see, somewhere along the road there's a port outpost. I don't want to walk into that by accident. The Sentinels make up the bulk of our forces here, but a well-rounded Night Elf army requires more than just Night Elves. The creatures of this forest, our ancestral home, have protected us for centuries. We simply need to rally them. Take this whistle. Our allies know this sound, and you'll be, use you'll be using it to recall them. Before you start gathering creatures, I'd like you to recall a few of our wisps. Just for practice, you can find them just outside the fortress among the trees. Farewell. Vishnu Amaru. Elun With it. Good to see you here. Estelon is being difficult. We're going to have to deal with these ogres for Lady Saunders on our own until he decides to deal with it. Estelon, the highborn up at the tower, is reclusive. I haven't been able to speak to him very much. He has, however, told me that the ruins of the high wilderness to the south are full of Gorduni ogres. The ogres are not only a threat, and they're destroying any forest and wildlife nearby. Estelon has also warned me that might happen if they discover any artifacts of highborn power among the ruins. Head south and slay any Gorduni you find. 
In addition to clearing out the ogres, Estelon mentioned something else about the ogres. He said the ogre warlocks may have some sort of orb or other item of power. He was terse about it, but seemed upset. He said that was no way they could be highborn, so I think he wants to know just where they got them. Bring me back one of these orbs. Lady Chandras has already asked you to assist us further. Adela was stuck out to the east among the Woodpaw Knolls and established a foothold south of Camp Mordra, Moyachi. You are to report to her if you wish to assist Lady Chandras and the Alliance further. Don't stray too close to Camp Moyachi. The Horde will not hesitate to attack. Keep to the south and look for On your way. If you have a moment, one of our students I was teaching has gone to explore the darkness ruins of the south by himself. I warned him that it was too dangerous, but he was too excited to listen. I had spoken with him earlier about an amulet that is concealed within these ruins. Now, I fear that he may have run off in search of it because of me. Estelon has forbidden us to pursue him. If you go there, could you please look for him? Go rally some wisps. Rally the wisp. Wah. Rally the wisp. Find one more wisp. What the hell? Okay. A lot of detail on something that doesn't exist. Wisps have been rallied. Wisps have always lived in harmony with night elves, and we depend on them for many things. These little guys of s you sent back, for example, will be helping us with some of the new construction and repairs. Ready for more. Hippogriffs are majestic creatures. Some say they were created by Sonarius himself as a gift for the night elves. They're wary of other races, but they're intelligent enough to recognize a friend of a friend. I need more hippogriffs here so that we can begin training some of our new archers to ride them. Take the whistle again and rally the fray feather hippogriffs in the grove just south of the Tower of Estelon. The stars guide you. To south, the Tower of Astralon. <sighs> That's a bear. That's another bear. Do we want to rally bears? Let's rally bears. That's a wolf. And that's a wolf. I think we should rally these. Fuck it, Griff. Let's rally all this shit. Rally to me! I fear hippogriff a little silhouette the world a hippogriff. I don't know. You have been rallied. I have been rooted. I'm gonna kill you. Hippogriff, I need to rally you. Rally to me. I see a little silhouette of a little man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. We need to go find Dumbo. Looks like lightning. Very, very frightening. Chasing me. I think it sounds like it chases me, roots me. And I rally the hippogriff. I'm down with its life. Wait, can I rally the one who's attacking? If it flew away on him, that would be funny as hell. I feel a little bit bad about being 100% honest. I feel a little bit bad about Not a lot of it, but a little bit. Just a little bit. So I want to murder the warlocks. I want to murder the general one specifically.
Fishy, 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 fishy. This isn't like that anyway. And he's not coming down either. Alright, well, never mind. I really wanted to kill him because he was being cocky, but apparently I can't get up there. He's not strong enough. Oh, 
Lost Apprentice. Name Dory. Ha 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 ha. I made a finding Nemo joke. Ha 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 ha. I made a finding Nemo joke. You know, I kinda wanna watch that movie. The sequel, never watched it. The Finding Dory. I couldn't think of the name of the thing I'm gonna do sometimes. Ah, oh, there's ghosts. Why are there ghosts? I didn't want to kill me, daddy. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Hey, look, there's a guy. The apprentice's body is cold. He has been dead for a while. Help. Please, if you can hear me, help! Goddess, bless you. Uh, I am chained to this place. It takes so much effort just to speak to you, I can barely maintain this shape. I could help you, but please, help me pull myself together first. Once I'm more focused on this plane, I should be able to do it. If you could just leave this tomb, the soil itself, outside the full of our ancient arcane deposits, laying forgotten for centuries, could you bring some to me? You must be careful when you venture forth. Other spirits are bound to this place. Malevolent and hateful ones. They've all suffered so much. None of what they used to be remains. Only suffering in the will to live. We will need that will to summon the overlord that keeps us bound here. Please gather the essence of the spirits and bring it back to me. So, pick up stuff from the ground. And murder the random ass spirits. Alright. Well, let's try to find some stuff on the ground first, and it looks like. Oh. I'm not going to do much. I just want to be able to fucking channel. I don't. Fuck. That's the one and only soil in the entire area or something. Glowing dirt. I see some glowing dirt. Let's get that glowing dirt. Yeah, yeah, glowing dirt. Ghost goons makes me feel so good. Two more ghost goons gonna make me feel good. But 
Hopefully you can stay in the game. Oh, fudge muffins. Back to the lady. lady. Do you have the soil? I'm having trouble staying together. Hurry. Thank you. Thank you. I feel much better with just a bit more. Have you gathered it? Can you feel their anguish? Can't you? My poor friends, at least we can use you to fix things. The other spirits and I are bound here by a cruel demon named Varanias. He is our captor, a twisted, mindless beast who devours our soul over millennia. The lure of our, the souls and arcane magic you've brought me should let you draw him out. Take this condensed essence to the dead tree at the far north of the ruins. Use it to lure Varanias and slay him, that I may finally be free. Give me his teeth and make him dead. Maybe. Maybe we really won't walk. Maybe if I was a dead player or something. Right. She turned him into a demon. And he then trapped them here? I don't think that's right. It sounds bass backwards. No, I'm sure we're about to find out. I'm free! Finally! Oh, it feels so good to be free. Oh, you saw it, didn't you? You've been so nice. I've been trapped here so long, thanks to Veronius. That young elf was the first soul I've tasted in ages. Even after I gifted him with that form, he insisted on keeping me trapped. He even hoarded all the souls just so I didn't have any. So stubborn. I owe you a favor, darling. Someday I'll be back to pay it. The soft glow from the pedestal brightens, and you can see a simple chain left behind. Is this what the apprentice was searching for? So they're both demons. And he was apparently stronger than her. for this dude? I can't tell. 
Oh no, there it goes again. Oh, fudge. Properly trained squadron of Hippogriff riders can take on nearly an opposite opposing force. Feathermoon Stronghold will be much safer with these noble beasts on our side. Some people think trains are good for little more than fetching drinks in a war. Most of them haven't seen an entire defensive line scattered by what they thought was cover. And have you ever seen a peon try to chop one down and get surprised? I was in tears. At any rate, they're immensely valuable allies. You'll find some wandering just outside the Tower of Estelon and more in the forest of the east, just south of Direwall. You have to look out for the horde. Quickly, quickly! Sounds like there were more than we thought. Thank you for your brave work. Move it! Don't waste my time! With the nearby ogres dealt with, we should take the offensive and press our attack into their territory. The Gordok ogres are the head of the Gordoni clan, ruling them from the ruins now called Dire Maul. They are stronger than the lesser Gordoni, but I have no doubt you can handle them. They won't know what hit them. You have the orb. Is that it? Let me see. He's right. I haven't been among the Night Elves long, but I can tell that these makings are completely unlike any Kaldorai decorations. Estelan needs to see this. Take this out of the tower to him. He may be surly, but don't be dissuaded. Once he sees the orbs, he'll realize it's not On a court issue. holding. Ah, the orb I mentioned before. A decent reason to disturb me. This is a neither a crude ogre trinket nor an ancient relic made by my kind. Its specific construction is new to me, and this fact disturbs me greatly. The wolf girl will be sending you to Dire Mall soon to fight the Gordok elite. They are the leaders of the Gorduni and would know who is supplying these. Take the orb back. I've cast a few enchantments on it. Hold it up in front of a weakened Gordok ogre, and once you've captured him, bring it back here. Ding. You're back, and without him. How horrible, for someone so young and full of promise to fall to demons. I beg your forgiveness for sending you into danger as well. I hope you don't cross paths with that demoness again. Freed fallen. That makes me a drink. Mm. Whew. It sticks with you more than I expected. There's a tramp. Seriously, what is with the poachers?
Oh, no, not the doggy. Oh, bad doggy. Bad doggy. Oh, why? I gave so it was two levels higher than me. I didn't do too bad with him being two levels higher than me. Forces of nature trance. They may not look at it, but some trance grow to be ancient protectors. We could use a few more of those around here. Alright, and let's go deal with it. Gordok issue. Damn, touchy ass mount. Order abduction and Gordok guards. Kill mages, enforcers, and what the shit? Traitor Gluck. Oh, he's a pet battler. Okay. Gonna go for your ninja. What's up, Maggie? I'm gonna charge him. Forces. Mm. Yeah, seriously, this proportion of not made is the warriors. Which is weird, but mages are supposed to be rare. Right, isn't that the idea? One of the two headed ogres can become mages, and there's supposed to be like a weird, rare deficiency thing. Where's one? Like, strange amounts of radiation coming from the these days. They have this. Blade storm. Me not feel it. 
so well, maybe you shouldn't spin in circles. Just like these random ass hands. Taking it slow and cruising on the radio. No particular place to go. Itchy and scratchy shop. That dog is gonna play. Seriously? I gotta go one way to go around and he turns. But I don't know boy. Gotta get to the tower. Uh, hey, oh, Silver. Sylvia, what's up? Speak Wonderful, everything's going according to plan. Lady Chandra's will be pleased. Him. Now I merely have to settle the fate of speaking to him. Who gave you these orbs, Ogre? Not going to talk. C -c -c Cold. You disgusting creature. You spread your filth among glorious El Jethalas, and now you dare to find me talk. Shogal give us orbs. Twilight's hammer clan make us strong. The Twilight's hammer, fascinating. They are within your dire maul? Yes, dire maul. Let go, so cold. You will no longer live there, Ogre. Pray your land somewhere safe, for it is more than you deserve. It seems we found an infestation far worse than we once expected. Shogal is no doubt trying to use the Gordok to gain access to the remnants of Eldrithalos within dire maul, full of the forbidden powers that brought the downfall of the Shendralar. I am rambling. Leave me. Tell Sylvia what you've learned. Whatever has occurred in Dire Mall must be stopped. Wee! Out with it! You're back. What did Estelon say? 
The Twilight's Hammer, here, this is far more serious than I expected. We've got to put a stop to this. I don't know if I'm ready to lead such an offensive, but I'm not about to let my fears get in the way of what needs to be done. I will rally our forces from Feathermoon Stronghold, head to Dire Mall, make your way to the arena, disrupt Cho'Gall's activities, we will launch our attack during the future. It's like super bottom. Follow the path. Follow the path. Follow the path. Follow the path. Kill the enemies that attack in waves. Watch the dialogue. Kill Cho'Gall. We're going deep. Last twenty seven. Huh. Hey, look, there's another fucking hyena that I'm almost guaranteed gonna aggro. There's a dead center down the fucking ramp. Della's covert camp. That's the only other thing I've got right now. Mm -hmm. It's red now. I just realized that. Yeah, this does kind of look like an arena setup, doesn't it? Maybe whether it's in my night elves intended to be that way or not, or of course, are two different things. Hello, Chugal. Oh, there's a Shit ton of those guys over there. Walk out. Walk back in. Behold! The world you see before you has been judged by water, earth, air! All shall perish before the elements. Burn and drown and cross and suffocate! Join us and embrace the inevitable end. The master's power calls. You will be reborn, stronger than flesh. Strength beyond form, power in the infinite. Swear your allegiance to me. The master wants he sees and wants and hungers. And you will be remade in my image. Wait, infidel! A heathen among us! An intruder! You! Show yourselves, my ogres! 
Slay this insect. We are for the master. We are the master. We are the master. We are the master. Chandras, try havoc, brothers and sisters. I'm gonna die if I go in here. I'm just gonna keep distance. So I'm gonna use as I can, I guess. Who's gonna have to work on this homie apparently? Okay, well, no one for that. I thought maybe there was something to be said.
Sylvia. Don't waste my time. Oh, welcome back from the battle. The Twilight's Hammer have been disgraced in the eyes of the Gorduni and driven from Faralas. You've shown the glory of the Alliance in full force. Be proud of Level 39. And another thingy. Huzzah. It's a long walk to the top if you want to die first. Foul Findle. Quickly, quickly. Um, On your way. Handle or something. Oh, there she is. What brings you here? Oh, you wouldn't know it from looking at them, but the lovely fairy dragons that inhabit the forest can be truly fearsome if trained properly. They can do amazing things to magical energy, absorb it, redirect it, even nullify it entirely. They're nearly harmless alone, but in large numbers they can have a stunning effect on a battlefield. You can find some in the fields of the northwest, but be careful, the horde is nearby. The mountain giants are our most powerful allies in the forest. They're carved from the land itself. Not many of our enemies willing to fight off a walking hillside. It only takes a few of these to turn the tide of a battle completely. The mountain giants have been affected by some illness lately, but I've seen a healthy group of them to the southwest. The flight path. Hello. It's not flight path, but I still need to talk to this guy anyhow. Nice. This will be six small bags. Big bag. 
Okay. Uh, fly pass. Out with it. Uh, welcome to Shadebow. Lady Chandra sent word of you. The first of Chandra's direct orders is to deal with the Woodpaw Knolls here. I've been spread too far, too fast. We become a threat to both the forest and our war effort. They know we're here. After we took this camp, we've been leading covert strikes against them. It's time to make a major blow. Bring back ten of their mains and we'll be ready for the next phase. We dealt with the Gorduni Ogres. A large blow at Dire Mall. But we haven't quite finished the job. My scouts have reported a group of them amassing the hills of the north gathered for some reason. It's possible they're interested in the Horde settlement nearby, but I don't want to take any chances. Scout the area, kill any ogres you come across, no, and thanks. report back. Why is this going off now? We need that ALS car. Can't fly yet. Don't make fun of me. Not nice. Hey, there's a giant. Getting beat up by somebody. Beat up somebody. One of the two. Poachers everywhere. Poachers down there. Poacher, poacher, poacher. There's an old. How's the drive going? Super glad I'm enjoying my Lulu rather than doing that drive. <laughs>
What about that? I'm so mildly confused with this. Yeah, I'm confused. Why am I confused? It's not nice to make me confused while I've been drinking. Why do you do these things on purpose? I'm telling you about Lisa. Seriously coming up with nothing. You mean napping?
think we're Doonies again. <laughs> More over Dooney Ogies. Life decision by his guard friend. Poor life decision. Alright. I don't know why I was gonna go to Feather Moon. If I go to Feather Moon, it's gonna turn around flying back. Oh, there seems to be a break in the, in the code of the thing somewhere. There seems to be a break in the code of the thing and the watch my jigger and the stuff. Hear his voice. Don't get on the road, because that's Camp Hayachi. Within the borders <laughs> of the camp, and I don't want to be here. Can't you hear this call?
just for trophies. If there's to be a slaughter, we may as well not let it be a total waste. Excellent work. I didn't think these gnolls would give you so much trouble. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Never underestimate a threat. These gnolls may seem like a simple brutes, but there's animal cunning even among them. Gnolls run as a pack, and every pack has alphas, the biggest, strongest, and most ruthless members with the claws their way to dominance. They're the ones giving orders, so they're the ones we're going to slay. They reside mostly around the woodpot den, pushing the others around. Get out there and push harder. Good to see you back. We learned more of the over situation. You may have seen it yourself, but other scouts have discovered an enormous beast being held by the ogres. Reports say it looks like a Sasquatch, but if it is, it's the biggest ever seen in Feralus. The ogres are most likely trying to teach it to obey them. While that's almost comical, it's not going to sit by and let them train that thing to roll over at their command. Return to the hills and slay it. The Sasquatch may be a larger threat, but we also need to wipe out the ogres. The Gorduni have been a nuisance to us for so long. And Lady Chandra wants them completely gone. Let's hope these are the last ones. Kill the Gorduni Tamers and keep the beast chained, and make sure they know what place they're meddling. Aren't they adorable? The babies are even cuter. Excellent. You've helped bolster our forces here, and you've saved many of the forest creatures from the Horde as well. With our army now ready, Feathermoon will stand against all threats, Horde or otherwise. On behalf of Lady Feathermoon, I'd like to award you with this weapon for the Sentinels. Two-handed. We'll take it, and we'll replace the thing with it. Yeah, I think that's a big ass axe. All right. Find and kill five wood paw alphas. in only one chapter, right? Correct. Correct mundo. Doctor Mundo. Power of Trinks is added to my appearances. I assume there's at least one more hub somewhere.
Looks like some kind of torrent outpost. Seems weird as close to Camp Marachi as we are. Shadow form. <laughs> it's a void elf in shadow form, which makes it a double shadow form. Shapoofy is the one I get. Shapoofy, Shapoofy. I could win her yet. Shapoofy, Shapoofy. Is there a flight path to that place? I don't think so. I am listening. Yeah. Shade bow. Shade bow. Shade bow. The quest we got left 10. So it's 7 after I do turn ins. It's a long ass trip to Darnassus. Hey, let me grab that. Thank you. Add a bonus.
speak quickly. Perfect. Any gnolls left will be simple prey lost in the woods. Here, soldier, take your reward before I get distracted. We've got other threats to deal with. Uh, well done once again. Yet another threat removed from Farless. Great work and good riddance. I hope we never have to see another ogre again. With the gnolls out of the way, we're ready to take care of other foes. Our scouts have discovered what appears to be a hive nearby extending deep beneath the ground. The insects of the hives are large and ferocious, and most of they pose an even greater threat than the gnolls. I want you to proceed with the hive with caution, cut down a good portion of the bugs, and bring back their carapaces for further study. Most of the insects we've seen wandering the hives have been enormous enough, but my scouts reported an especially huge one. It's supposedly a massive wasp, and it seems to be directing the workers on the surface. I don't know much about these things, but it's starting to wander beyond that pit in the ground. We need to put a stop to it. Kill the wasp and return to me. On your way! Oops. Oh, Big fooler. <laughs> Extended behind the thing. Inside the hive.
10%. Makes your resistance greatly increased. So you work again, use the key to change. Just gotta move, just gotta push, will you do the fun and dumb, go fun and dumb, go fun and dumb, go fun and dumb, go fun and dumb. Waste my time. Oh, how goes the hunt? Are you here to report your success? These are still a fit after all. I wasn't sure. Having never seen one in person, Gilneas had its problems, but at least we didn't have these monstrosities running around. Well done. You've proven very valuable in securing the area for the Alliance. Something truly disturbing has occurred. While on patrol, several of my scouts were ambushed by dryads. The dryads are close allies of the night elves and guardians of the forest. I assume they were just frightened by the sight of Worgen, but the sentinels I sent out afterwards were also attacked. Whatever is going on, I don't like it. I want you to investigate as well. If even the dryads have been corrupted, put them to the sword. Put them to the sword. at a time. And they're a million miles away. Feel like maybe I don't know. Maybe Thalinar. Have some uh, some quests coming on. Maybe we're not getting fucking boned. I'm assuming that'll come up at level 40 because that'll be the intro into Thousand Needles. We'll go with this, then we'll go back, maybe get one or two more. Back to that same area where you killed the Killsguard that are now revived, and killed the Tamers that were also next to the Hillsguard. Oh, and killed the Bigfoot. Kill the Bigfoot. There's a Dryad. Hi, sister. Sweet, they're in their back door sentinels. Am I not okay with that? I'm not okay with the fact that I have to do twice as hard because of your stupid shield. Come on, charger.
you doing your chop chop? navigation ship doesn't want to work on this side of the map. I'm trying to send it back to that. Mm -hmm. Because I want to get a hearth. And I can't hearth. Because I don't have the 15 minute CD. Spectator, ha, huh? spectator of what? This campfire? That shrub? Oh, how about this odd purple tree? Listen to them for a fight. Scar was headed toward the Labyrinth Pavilion, and the Raza was soaring in the direction of the new Thalinar. Just be sure to let me in on the bedding before the bloodbath begins. Hmm. Just random ass goblin. I scare you, but this is a grave situation. At the portal of the dream boat was sealed, and the corruption is still spreading. Somebody likes me. I'm now exalted with Darnassus. Um, Terrar was not fled Fairless. He acts as a conduit to the nightmare through his own form. I will no longer. I will run no longer. Seek me atop the peak to the east. A dragon of the Emerald Dream. What have you gotten yourself involved in? I wouldn't keep her waiting if I were you. The place she spoke of is what we call the Emerald Summit. A path off the main road through the lower wilds leads up one of the s high stone plateaus. There's a small shrine at the top. Good luck. I hope to see you back soon. So... Every time I come to this area, he aggroes. Look, monkey, I don't want to kill you. You seem like an alright monkey. 12 minutes on the 
stone CD. Conveniently fallen tree. Follow the road, follow the road, follow the totally non existent road. Like a game trail at best. Void also out here killing treants for some reason. You've come. I'm ashamed to ask this of you, but I've ran from him long enough. Terrer must be stopped. Emerus and Lethon are gone. It's only us left now. I can hide from this no longer. All I did while a part of that brood, all the suffering I've caused, must be repaid today. I am still weak. I cannot assume my true form even if I dare try, but I will still stand beside you in battle. If you are prepared, I will call Terrer to us. He will be unable to resist the temptation of resi revisiting corruption upon me. Come forth. I stand before you. Come at me, dragon. I knew you'd return, Yasandre. It was only a matter of time. I've returned only to end this. To rare, this land will finally have peace. Peace! Peace! Peace is about a fleeting dream. Let the nightmare be. suffered so much, now can rest. With what? With that, I am the only one left. Even if I choose to remain in this world, I cannot rejoin the green flight. But this victory gives me hope. Perhaps in time, I can find peace in a simple life among mortals. You must return to your people. Tell them that the dragons of the nightmare are gone. They will no longer threaten these lands. Level 40 riding skill that I totally don't have. Wish I had a level 40 riding skill. I really need to go get it. What's up, you? What? To be drawn into a fight between dragons. I don't know if you're blessed or cursed. Lady Chandris has heard all of you've done and has personally sent this reward for your bravery. I'm glad you came back in one piece to receive it. Move it. We are staging a relief effort at New Thalinar for all of Thousand Needles. Sayala Nightwisp will lend you my hippogriff to safely get you there. Speak with Carisia Moonhunter when you land. You must go quickly if lives are to be saved. Uh, who am I speaking to? Hello. How you doing? I 
need to get to New Thalamar. Which puts me at 1,000 heals. Okay. So, with that, we'll be done for a second. And I'll feel stupid because now I'm going to have to probably run somewhere. In order to get to... That's Feralus down. Bam. Bam. Bam, bam. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Is that kind of close this one? I think it would be easier to try and serve him at Arachi and go to the tower. It takes 15. <sighs> you take your face and you shut your heart off. I'd still be making this run because I don't have it for another five minutes anyway. Yep, I know. Angry Dryad. That is a really potent slow. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have cast time either. It has a CD, that's great. Get some shit. Okay. We'll be there soon. You can stop watching if you want to. All I'm gonna do is fly to dawn as I skip my new around it. Get my new night. Drop this bag in the bank, buy one from the lady at the thing. You think my life now? Hearthstone back here. Fly back to the lady in front of the. Actually, you know what? I'll probably just stay in. Um, whatever it's called. The stronghold. Feather Moon. Stay in Feather Moon. That's where we'll end up logging out now, is in Feather Moon. Log out in Feather Moon. Feather Moon Stronghold. Stronghold of Feather Moon. Alright, there she is. You! Flying to. That's the same place. Also, a little bit of Rutherin. Because it's gonna be a. Yeah, I know, it won't let me change it. I've tried, like, multiple times.
fudge and fudge fudge. Oh, it's a long way to the top if you want to die in pool. Woo! Definitely not good once it got warm. Woo! Fucking thing, I didn't really leave me that far along. Stone Town Mountains.
close. I'm in here and I took for fuck all ever.
offer service with a smile. Good day. Spot check on reputations. Okay, Starwood's actually pretty close, but the other ones we're trying. Um, yeah, that's. Alright, and that's what we're going to call it for the day. It's been fun.